Hello everyone. I just stopped what I was doing. Um, I decided to come up right now, say some things on my mind. Um, I've realized these last months it's a lot to take in. And when I realized the corruption, when when I began to understand, I felt like I had to relearn everything, even though it was given to me in the Word, you know, and then I, when I found the Greek and I realized all the air that's in the written letter, the translated letter, I've spent so much time trying to put these words together for you, and that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I've done nothing for anyone. So much that has been given to me in these months, the, uh, just the understanding and to hold it in. I should have been speaking it. Um, and I know, I, I, I feel like I won't get any more blessing. You know, I know it's a part of my learning, because my journey is my journey with the Father. That is what my life is for, is to learn so that I can speak of Him. And everyone's journey is alone. You know, people feel they're a, a part of some congregation or some name on a building. You know, people go on you know, going to church. But feeling separated from, from God, not understanding. They continue to do this. I'm not going to get scattered. I'm just going to say a few things. I, you know, it doesn't matter if you're if you call yourself Lutheran or Catholic or Baptist. They all have their doctrines. You know, and to go and to listen to a preacher not understanding anything, thinking that you're not supposed to understand, just believe the preacher. No, you're supposed to have a relationship. You are supposed to come to know the Father. That is why He gave us His Word. That is why it tells you to learn of Him. You're not supposed to be listening to the man teaching you when they're all teaching different doctrines. It is one on one. But people have feared by, by the words of man's mouth and the confusion of the letter and of man's mouth. People have feared to draw close to the Father. People have been thought themselves unworthy or not. I, I'm getting off. I'm getting off looking. You're not supposed to walk through this life ignorantly. He gave the words of life so that you would eat them up and live by them. You know, it says, Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. Ask and you shall be received. Ask and you shall receive. What you seek you're going to get. If you're seeking the evil and wickedness and if you're seeking the kingdom of hell, that's what you're going to find. Seek the kingdom of heaven and its riches and its goodness. Seek what is good and find it. You eat up the corrupt word or the good word. And that's sown in your heart. And what you speak with your mouth is what comes from your heart. If you eat only deception and lies and, and slandering and what you eat is what you're going, that's the fruit of your lips.
And that's the fruit that this world has seen too much of and heard too much of. They, I call it blasphemy. I know there's a certain brother that don't, but I, that's what I see as blasphemy, speaking, <clears throat> speaking wrong, speaking wickedly in the name of the Father, speaking things that are contrary to the character of the Father. This is what I think is blasphemy. You know, I know I, I've held so much in, and I, I wanted to show you in the word, in the Greek, I wanted to show you, but there is so much, it's the Bible, it's the words of life and the words of death, it's the blessing and the curse, they're both in the book, his truth is in the book. But it had been hidden by the hand of man that has corrupted everything, has corrupted his word, has corrupted the hearts of man, the minds of man. Everyone who speaks contrary to what the Spirit says is anti-Christ. Everyone's looking for anti-Christ, look around and listen because it's everywhere. I know that the Father is doing the work, and He is revealing His good word today. I wanted to have some scriptures here to show you, and I will in a little bit. I'm going to go cook my family some breakfast right now. I don't do that a lot. I don't do anything but study, not in study and reading. I'm not. When I tell you I need to understand, the things I need to understand is how to put it in order to give what's been given to me to you from the book. So I can show you in the book what it really says. Because those who know it in their spirit, those who know it, they see what the book says. They see the air of man's hand. Look at all the translations. No lie is of the truth. All these translations... Look at all the denominations, at all the diversity of what they speak. You will know them by their fruit. You will know his children by their fruit. They speak of the things of the Father. They speak the things that are good and right. Not contrary to love and goodness and mercy. I know that this has been all part of my learning, what I have to go through. You know, to feel worthless, to hold what I've held in so long, just because I didn't want to speak a word wrong. Those who are of the Father, they will hear His voice. They will know His word. They will overcome this wickedness that is in this world and has destroyed the world and the minds and hearts of men. The wickedness that has taken the joy from the children of men. They have no understanding in them to speak to you contrary to what is of the Spirit. To what is good and true and pure. You know, sometimes it takes a whole, you have to read a whole chapter to understand one verse, to really understand. These are those, the, the corrupt ones are those who take a little verse and then take another little verse backing it up, having absolutely no understanding of what they're saying. It has just kept people from coming to understand, coming to know. The, it, 
I really wanted to have myself together when I came, but I can't hold these in no, no longer, and I can't, I don't get no more blessing until I give what has already been given to me. This world is proof that we have not been following after our righteous Father. You know, but I see change coming. I hope in change, and I think everyone does their part in the world. To stop thinking so much, and stop listening to so many people, and go in, in your heart, and, and consider things with, God, with, with the Father. You know, I don't even have to say some things because I have just so much. People need to start doing and showing His glory and His righteousness in their life. Through a right mind and a right heart and a right answer and a right the right works in your life it is all about love real love the wicked don't have no clue what it is neither do they worship or serve the father in spirit and in truth because they don't know him the things that come out of their mouths the evils that come out of their mouths Corrupting his character, corrupting the character of the spirit. They have not heard heaven. They have not heard the goodness. Neither do they speak it. So I hope something made sense because I'm, you know. I just felt like I needed to show you by the word. I will speak the word that I know. in the testimony I know and what I have learned because I know the Father's children will, will hear it is the Spirit that confirms His children to one another and they know when someone's speaking contrary to the Father Okay, well, I'm going to go for now. May the love of the Father be with you and keep you and comfort you. Bye for now. Be at peace.